here to dry heat. The temperature will be hovering. The first half whistle from Christina Uncle. And Fran with the first touch for Brazil. Who again back the other way, looking for Sam Kerr. And immediately Newhouse tested inside of her this afternoon after coming on the bench in their last match. Out in front. Golden opportunity and a quick strike for Brazil. There's probably some cheers in the USA locker room as well. And it's one-nothing Brazil in the opening 75 seconds. All the action is in front around the six, and that just allows an easy run out top for Camila. And the 22-year-old really just has to side foot it home. Australia can respond in similar fashion. Here is Kerr, who was the hero in that one, knifing her way across the 18, chipping for the far side. And that one just over the top of the bar. Actually got some decent pace on it, considering, watch, her body is moving away from the target over the ball. Australia stacking up some numbers, driven in right toward the penalty spot, over onto the back post, and a collision at the top of the area, and an immediate point to the spot. To Sam Kerr. And now a chance to equalize once again. Big save, but it's right out in front, and Kerr will bury it. No, it's Devanna to bury it home. Lisa Devanna stepping up. And pouncing on the loose ball in front, you've got to give Newhouse some great credit. She comes up with the initial first save. Another look. Olympic Games this past summer down in Rio. Brazil beat them. Devana plays it across out in front, and it's 2-1. Hold on a moment. Hold on a moment. The far side AR play through. Some numbers in the area. Oh, great idea from Lagarzo. Let it run through, looking for the far post. It was Gory. You almost maybe want to see Chloe Lagarzo be a little more selfish there. Because I thought it could have been her left foot to tap it home. It's that Childa's inside for Ford. Just at the edge of the 18, pushes past the second challenge. Out in front, deflected away. Now running right at the heart of the Australian defense. Shows a burst of speed in onto the back post. Camila looking for a second. Gory comes in from underneath. Von Egmont, Gory, her own number from long distance. It's just over the bar. Not bad from the 24-year-old. And actually nearly caught, caught the Brazilian keeper a little off her line. As it pans left here, watch. You can see Newhouse. I guess she had Sam Kerr, overlapping run is well-timed, and Devanna has the pace to get inside. Right to the heart of the area. Devanna and a big save from Newhouse. There was contact after, and both Devanna and the Brazilian keeper still down on the turf. Kerr continues to play on forward. Looking for the sequence. Kerr, chance for a goal. Didn't quite get enough power behind it, but Chloe Lagarzo is still down in front of the Australia bench. Aber steps in to win it. Gory missed the first touch. Still pressure here from Zanarato. And back the other way. Kerr out in front, and it's 2-1. No offside flag this time. Caitlin Ford thought about 15 minutes ago she made it 2-1 Australia. It was called back on the offside flag. No flag here, and the Matildas take a lead of defensive shape and your ability to hold the team down, but it sure is open. Kerr trying to look for a third, out in front, and it is 3-1. Devanna with her second of the first half, and Australia for the second straight game, find three goals in the first half after going down by a goal. You can always talk about timing of runs, and I think that's one of the things that'll never show up in this. Camila trying to delay her run instead. Onto the back post. Danger back there defensively, and that one will zip by the far post. Bia Zanarato. 
That's the physical element that I saw from her when she came on as a sub on the field. I think it's a combination of a couple things, including the fact that Brazil are unable to get themselves. Finds Carpenter out top. First time, Gory cuts around the first defender, has numbers in the middle, looks for her own number in the far post, and why wouldn't she? A thing of beauty from Katrina Gory to make it 4-1 in the first half. She had a couple of chances earlier in the first half. And again, look at the effort here from Australia as they regather in for another run at the Brazilian goal. Kerr in front and a big save there from Newhouse. If it weren't for several stops from the 24-year-old Brazilian netminder, the score might be even bigger in favor of the Matildas. Great service from Devana. Discovered firsthand how you have to finish a full 90 minutes when we were down in San Diego to see the U.S. Women's National Team come back and win that game 4-3. Kerr just off the mark in the near post with her right-footed effort there. Carpenter, but she did so anyway. Kerr calling for it in the space. Has to reroute her run. Here comes Carpenter. She wants to get in on the act, and Newhouse has to parry that one away. Maybe not the cleanest of saves from the Brazilian keeper there, is, but it did the trick. Watch Kerr, center of your screen there, calling for it in the space, but instead Carpenter... Some serious goal differential. It was three coming into the match. As that one comes in on the near here tonight, she starts in this game here against Brazil, has been confident on the ball, as has Kerr. Out top for Butt. Two players coming together in Katrina Gori and Tamika Butt. It's almost as if sometimes when Brazil gets right at this point of the field, they somewhat run in to salvage a point out of their opening match. And now here's Ford. She already has one. Rounds the keeper. Ford to side foot it home. It's 5-1 Australia. Just as we get to the midway point of half number two. And Caitlin Ford joins Lisa Devana in having a brace for Australia today. Great through ball there. And again, it's the timing of the runs for Australia that makes it so dangerous. Perfectly timing it and the ball into space. And really ball served in. Kerr looking to head it down. Kerr got enough on it. Razzo speeding forward, plays it out wide for Kerr. Back across in the direct. Not only did she save the initial penalty as Chu uses a burst of speed. Cooper just came on. Chipped in on toward the post, second half. All the way across to the back post. Kennedy won the first ball on the East Coast. The U.S. women in Japan. Kerr has been held in check and not been able to score until now. Her fourth goal of the tournament, and Sam Kerr makes it 6-1 Australia. Two defenders trying to slow her down, still not enough. I mean, great credit for Kerr here on the finish is physically she doesn't let the challenges from the two defenders.